Welcome to this course on LaTeX for students, engineers and scientists. I am Firuza Karmali, one of the course instructors. So, we will look at the following things in this session. What is LaTeX, when and why people use it, what can you do in LaTeX and we will show some sample documents which have been created using LaTeX. So, let us get an overview. LaTeX was written by Leslie Lamport in the early 1980s. LaTeX is a document preparation system which is released under LaTeX project public license. So, you can consider it is an alternative to an editing software like Microsoft Word, LibreWriter. If you want more information about the LaTeX project, please visit the website latexproject.org. So, what is not LaTeX? LaTeX is not Visivig. Visivig is what you see is what you get. So, a writer just writes some basic simple markup commands for formatting. He just concentrates on the content and not on the formatting. And you can write complex mathematical formulas with ease. So, what can be done? One can write articles, books, journals, papers, posters, banners, you name it and you can write it. So, why it is so easy that people use it? Now, consider that a person is writing a book. So, while a person writes a book, it is a practice to start a chapter from the odd page and not from the even page. So, in a normal text editor, one needs to manually set this for each chapter. What if a person writes more content in the previous chapters? The chapters would get shifted, but LaTeX does this for you automatically. You write a chapter, it will always begin from an odd page. So, now let us come to process of writing. So, just choose your favorite text editor, write the commands, save it as a dot tech file. We build it by running this command pdf latex, your file name dot tech or there are build options right from the latex IDs and which will generate a pdf file. Now, let us see some sample documents. This was a manual created for one of our programming courses in 2014, which was done in LaTeX. If you see, this title page is so well typeset. It is centered, uh, the sum of the titles are bold, there is a logo, it is equally spaced. You can see something else, there is a hyperlink, there are page numbers, these are the table of contents. I can click on this particular section which I want to go to. I have list of figures which I have used. I have list of tables. There are some sections, subsections. These are enumerate points, tables, figures. If you see this particular page number 9 is in landscape format. This is yet to be written. Some diagrams are there. Okay. It is very well typeset. If you see the margins, etcetera, the font, it looks uniform. People will say, ah, what a document. Now, let us go back and see a poster. This is also created in LaTeX using one of the classes. If you see, there is introduction, there are diagrams, there are references, conclusion, all of which look so neat and tidy. Now, let us see a document. One of the objectives of this course is to achieve a typesetting shown in this document. So, we start by writing plain text that is without LaTeX code and build upon it session by session. The enhanced article unit under each session will highlight what LaTeX commands were added to typeset the document and move one step closer to the final one. This is the title page. Preface with some text colored in pink and green, some citations cross referencing to respective chapters and sections, a clickable table of contents, list of tables, and list of figures. If you see, this is the chapter 1 phenomena, which is typeset in double spacing having bullet items, hyperlinks and a footnote. Chapter 2 also has some citations, an image and mathematical formulas. 
Chapter 3 also has a table where some rows and columns are merged. The section 3.3 .3 is typeset into two columns. Section 3.6 is in landscape mode. Finally, coming to our bibliography and back index. Now, let us see a book which was created using LaTeX. This book was created for one of our summer internship projects. So, this contains the list of interns, list of mentors, and it has the date, attendees, absentees, number, issue, assigned to, etcetera. So, which we can maintain to record our minutes of the meetings that we used to have for our project. So, it, so these are the things that was done. So, in this session, we learnt what is LaTeX, we saw the different documents that can be created using LaTeX. Thank you. Have a nice day.